Hey guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. For those of you that are new, I'm Shara. And if you are new and you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button because we have so many amazing things planned for 2019 for the Live Your Style family and you don't want to miss them. So hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get an update whenever we post. Today we are kicking off a series I actually started last year, got rave reviews. And if you guys are interested and you haven't seen the previous episodes in this series, you should go back and watch them. The series is called How to Find Your Design Style, where I take you guys through all the different types of design styles, at least the most popular ones, and I kind of walk you through like what the important elements are that create and make up that style. In these specific videos, when I take on one style per video, I then take you guys shopping, and I show you guys where to find elements that kind of apply to that type of style, and how you guys can find tangible things in your own towns to find decor that looks like it, or exact things I find in these stores that you guys can put in your house and decorate and make your homes look beautiful. Today's design style that we are tackling is the coastal design style. This is one I've gotten a lot of requests for and we're kicking off January with some coastal vibes. So I'm gonna show you guys all the details on that. But if you guys have not heard of the Live It Journal yet, you guys need to click the link below and go check it out and join the fam because we have so many amazing things planned these next few weeks for the Live It Journals. Basically, the Live It Journal is a way for you guys to take my videos and apply them directly to your own spaces and your own lives. So if you click the link below, it'll take you to the blog. You can sign up for that. Okay, last thing before we start. The question of the day. What is your favorite TV show that I should binge? Because I need another show because I'm out of shows. So comment your favorite, let me know, help assist out, and let's get started. So the first component of the beachy coastal vibe design style is going to be a neutral and natural color palette. So you're gonna have colors like a lot of tans, a lot of creams, a lot of blues, a lot of whites. What you're really trying to achieve is a feeling of calm, serenity, relaxation. So as I go in and describe the coastal design style, I'm gonna break it up into two different segments. There's California Coastal, which is often a lot more muted color palette, a little bit more modern. You'll see, you know, a lot of this type of shade of tan neutral yumminess. And then you'll see a lot of this like muted denim and some paler blues. Whereas on what I would describe as like the Florida beachy coastal style, you'll see a lot more of those pops of turquoise. You'll see a lot more like beachy figurines like seashells and sailboats and starfish and all those fun things. Um, and you'll ju it's just a lot more colorful, whereas California Coastal is a lot more modern and natural, if that makes sense. I'll explain more as we get into it, but I just wanted to share my glossary of terms so that way you guys know what I'm talking about. You wanna incorporate pops of blue, like at Target I found these amazing pillows. See, different shades and different pops of blue are great. This is actually a really cool wood texture, which feels, you know, kind of driftwoody, but it has a color to it. So if you went from more of a navy nautical pattern, that's very coastally, more nautical coastal. Um, and then if you stick with more lighter blues, you get a little bit more of that coastal beachy feel, which I really love. Okay, this is a great greenery option for a coastal home because it kind of looks like kelp to me. Um, it's not woodsy, it's not really modern, it's just like a good fresh green springy addition to a nice coastal palette. So this is a great like turquoise bright coastally green lamp option. This is a lot more of that Florida beachy kind of look. This is a little bit more of that California coastal, more modern, more muted, and a little bit softer. This kind of looks like a clam to me for some reason. That one's a little bit more California coastal, and this is a little bit more Florida beachy. Number two is driftwood. Okay, so driftwood is a really easy material to find pretty much everywhere in a lot of different uh, forms and applications. So you can find it in like furniture, like actual coffee table. You could also find it in like just literally a piece of driftwood that could be put in a bookshelf. That's a really great way to use it. And that style and that execution of driftwood could totally be used in both the California coastal and the Florida beachy styles. Um, it'll just, the things that change are the things that are around it. 
You could also use driftwood in the form of like organization boxes, like these ones that I found at Target. This is very California coastal, but it's like very neutral, has a little bit of that soft, smooth driftwood feel and look. Also, I love this magazine holder that I found at Target. I think that's a really beautiful way to integrate the woodsy kind of natural feel into your beachy coastal home. Also this really cool towel hanger rack that you can put in a bathroom. I thought that was a really cool way to bring in the coastal vibes. And then obviously you wanna look for drifted wood in accents of furniture. So whether that's handle or maybe that's the legs of a table, things like that. Number three, find natural textures and materials like jute, seagrass, wicker, and burlap, and linen, and wood. All the natural textures and fibers and materials you want to really try to bring into a coastal space because you're trying to implement the beach, which is a natural environment. You also wanna try to find ways to use those materials in things like that are storage based or have more of a practical application. So baskets, they could be baskets you put blankets in or pillows, they could be pull out bins that you put in a bathroom to organize your products. You could use it as a kid toy organizer, but really trying to pull that in in the form of containers and then also rugs is a really great way to give a solid foundation, kind of make it feel like sandy on the ground without the sand, you know, kind of nice. I found a whole bunch of these seagrass bins at Target. Thought they looked really, really cute. A lot of different like sizes and shapes and colors and versions and striped ones and colored ones and they have a lot. Another really big component in this natural fiber realm is rope. Rope is very, it's a lot more nautical. There's like so many different versions of coastal within this big coastal house that I'm describing, but nautical is like a kind of different avenue and using a lot of rope, different color rope, whether it's white or tan, those are really great coastal elements you can bring in on things like pillows, which I don't have a roped pillow, but I did find one at this place. Rope is good and these pillows are great because they have a nice little linen-y texture, neutral color palette. These would be perfect in a coastal space. Also, I found this really cool mirror and it had a rope strap, so you can hang it by the strap on the wall. Kind of is a little bit more industrial looking, but I think it would look really nice if you had um, like a California coastal style and then wanted to make it a little more masculine. I think that's a great way to do it. Number four, bring on the stripes. Stripes are a great way to bring in a coastal beachy vibe. Also really great with nautical, but the coastal California coastal loves the stripe look because it's patterned, it's geometric and it's simple. Whereas if you wanna get super fun and like smaller, brighter color stripes, that's gonna fit more into the category of the Florida beachy style. But you could totally do both. You could do the same exact color, like neutral on neutral color palette with stripes. I found a couple pillows that looked like that that kept it very clean and simple. You can also find cloth trays, like the ones I found here, that had stripes on them and they were very cute. And I really love this striped bedding that I found. The sheets kinda had a linen-y texture to it. It's probably like a linen cotton blend but they looked really comfy and they totally would fit in a, in a coastal styled bedroom. This is obviously blue and white stripes, but I love it because it's not just two basic colors, it's like variations of the blue and the neutral colors. Number five, accessorize with sailboats, seashells, and sea glass. This is specifically for the Florida beachy style. See a lot of these components in that style. Again, you can totally embrace all of those different shapes. My only recommendation is to keep it simple and don't go too much into the silly tchotchke side of that world because then you could end up looking a little bit comical and not as like classy and put together. I would stay away from these. Feel into a kind of California coastal style is something like this nice wall hanging that I found at Target. It was really pretty, it was just simple and they were just in little geometric shapes that would hang on the wall and kind of add a little bit of a shimmer and glimmer to a wall space next to art or behind a sofa or something fun like that. This is very coastal. This is, I mean, you could use this in a California coastal, but this is also very like Florida coastal because it's an actual figurine of something coastally. Clearly Home Goods is the place to go if you're a coastal person, especially if you like the Florida beach style. They have all the things. So get to Home Goods ASAP. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that if you love the coastal design style, it gave you some ideas, some ways to implement it into your own homes and made you feel inspired and empowered to take it on. And if you guys don't like coastal, we have a whole bunch of other design styles we've already covered. Make sure you guys click the link below and check out 
the video series all on the different design styles. We still have a couple more coming up that we're gonna tackle in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave me your favorite TV series, because I really do need a new one. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. I think we need it.